A wild day on Wall Street as Italian debt woes worsen. The yield on the benchmark Italian government bonds spiked above 7%, evidence that investors are losing faith in the country's ability to repay its debt. The surge came just hours after Italian Premier Silvio Berlusconi promised late Tuesday to step aside. Getting rid of Berlusconi was certainly a very small step in the right direction, but it doesn't solve the overall problem, which is that the market is pushing up Italy's financing costs. There isn't enough money in the European Financial Stability Fund, their bailout fund, to handle a rescue of Italy. The Dow lost as many as 420 points before tapering off to finish the day down 389 points to 11,781, a decline of 3.2 percent. The S&P and NASDAQ both lost 3.7 to 3.9 percent. Italy's debt burden, now at $2.6 trillion, has overshadowed the Greek financial woes that have plagued markets for months. Until you know, the European Central Bank uh, you know, steps up and says they're willing to backstop Italy, meaning they're willing to buy all the bonds Italy wants to sell, that would drive the interest rates on Italian bonds back down. We think that would settle the, uh, the crisis. The problem is that the European Central Bank and the Germans have steadfastly refused to do that. Markets fear that an Italian or Greek default would lead to huge losses for European and other banks. That could start another credit crisis like the one that followed the demise of Lehman Brothers in 2008. Mark Hamrick, Associated Press.